you know, they say if the student hasn't learned, the teacher hasn't taught. But the whole thing is uh, to come to some agreement on what does it mean to teach. And I found that what it means to teach is, is more backing away and getting them to come at you. And, it, you know, uh, that's the thing. If you can stimulate their interest, uh, you got a going thing, and that's what you have to have. But, but the action has to be in the student. And a lot of guys want to be a silver-tongued orator. Now, there's a place for that when you're trying to set a stage or trying to cover a lot of material in a hurry. But when you really want to work with a student, the idea of tell me more is much more important than standing up there and tap dancing. The general idea on judo is you got to get them coming at you. Uh, you you got to have the momentum of the other person. You've got to induce it in some fashion. And if you do get them coming at you, uh, they teach a variety of ways of sending them to the moon from there and uh, flipping them one way or another. But if they just lay there, you know, you could kick them or step on them or something, but uh, that wouldn't be genuine judo. <laughs> but uh, so the same thing applies in the classroom, that you've got to get them coming at you. And once they have an interest in what's going on and they start to move toward you, then you can send them to the moon. <laughs> Well, uh, starting a distance education in Dayton, it was listening to an Australian officer over at the club. And he had a bicycle in the barn in Australia where it's so thinly populated over a wide area. And his teacher on a radio would say something like, what is two and two, Johnny? And at that point, with this, uh, bicycle in the barn, he'd pump his feet like mad and create electricity, and he'd say, four. And, <laughs> and there's distance education. Boy, there's so many ways of getting to them anymore. It's just wonderful. Boy, it's great. And the, the ability to mix talents and bring people from different parts of the... Well, gee, you see it on McNeil Lair News Hour that uh, a conversation like this between people that are, one of them's on the East Coast and others on the West Coast, and just as common as can be anymore. And the ability to give enough background to get discussion started with means such as video and so on, and bring in experts if you want uh, who are not available all the time by other means, that's great.